Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, just about ready to go here now for the particulars. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting at a couple of Hawaii, introducing the challenger, Luis De La Samurai. Small And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC heavyweight champion of Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Punch over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed as which he throws is crazy. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. There you go, look for the shot. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nice right hand. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes to go. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, huge block! Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice punch by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopped the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Hey. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, yeah, right hand. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Sidekick. Oh, single collar tie here. He is all about that left kick to the body. And they separate. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real sneaky body. Just missed with the left there. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by the Hawaiian Smoke. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Smolka going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, second round is getting You're underway. Right. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good enough. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Beautiful kick. Smoke 
his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Sneaky head kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Nice defense there. Huge block. Nice job there by Lee. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Just over three minutes to go in round two. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Take your time. Take your time. Big leg kick lands. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Straight right hand, no good. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh! Outstanding kick there by Smoke. Right hand punch from the clinch. Smoke's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big liberty lands under the elbow. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big kick land. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Nice punch there by Smoker. that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to keep the elbows inside, because otherwise you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And that's the end of round number two. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? 
if your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you treat it now, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Good corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the key round. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big kick. Look at that leg. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Smoker. Liver kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, big head kick. Big clinch. Watch him shift and try to start getting his punches off. Oh, effective strike there by Smoke. Big body kick. Nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, start, he'll change his stance. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Big head kick! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Keep your hands up. Use your oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. They continue to exchange. Nice punch, man. Don't stop. Right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience. Yes, I do. Horrible. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Throws the right hand there. Kick to the body by Smoker. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Thirty seconds to go. Keep your 
All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Punches and bunches, punches and bunches. Let's go. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Effective punch there by Smoker. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, huge knee to the head. Perfectly timed and placed. Next there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And they clinch once again. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Powerful leg kick land. Nice punch here. Lee going for the leg kick, nothing doing there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Still nice body kick lands. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Body kick is blocked. Oh man, hit the lands. Nice punch land. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, single collar tie now. And he caught the kick. Right, let's do it. Can't take many of those, you better check. He just misses there with the left. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Nice punch lands over the top. Under two minutes to go in the round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Let's go. Get off first morning. Oh, nice. He gets hit with a kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Nice loop and punch. Connects now with the one, two. Knee to the body. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. 
look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. with that attempt. Big head kick lands. Keep your hands up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Watch knees to the body. Big body kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Effective strike there by Lee. Beautiful head kick. Gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Ooh, what a head kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Gets caught with that punch. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for now. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Lands the right hand. Look at the turtle in that kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Some nice back and forth action here. Single collar tie now. Leg kick. That was sunk in. Nice strike. Visibly limping here. Went for the inside leg kick. Lee gets touched by that kick there. This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. I love that takedown now. Side kick is there. Under three minutes remain in round five. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta do everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Smolka gets caught with that punch. Got a short. So he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. 
What a body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. You gotta dig deep here. Got the single collar tie. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. You need to take down now. Under a minute now to go in this one. That's a big strike right there. Smoka gets absolutely melted by that head kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice jab by the Hawaiian Smoka. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Nice kick. Smoka going for the leg kick, he misses. Oh, that's a good right hand. Nice straight punch. There's no give. Oh. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight.